Hello Art Invaders, I'm back again with new tutorials. I will upload again one Cinema 4D and one Blender tutorial per week. I'm looking forward to be artistically active with you. Today we create this cool animation. For those who do not know me, I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post short tutorials and my art on Instagram and TikTok. If you want to support me, follow me on my social media channels and leave me some love. Thanks a lot, you guys are the best. Enough talking, let's start with the 3D, the 3D objects. 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 We'll start with the render settings. There you can select all the important things, such as the format. To do this, press the cogwheel icon at the top. Under render, select physical. Then select a format of your choice. I take 1080 by 1080 pixels, the standard Instagram post format. After that, select all frames for frame range, since we're creating an animation. That's it. Now we come to the creation of the 3D objects. Search for Mo text in the upper right corner. There you write under text a term of your choice. I take Barbie. Under font you can choose the font. I take Renji. I link you the font in the caption. For depth choose 2 for height 9 and for align middle. For horizontal spacing you choose minus 0, 5. Then change to the tag caps. Under size you choose 0, 3. Now you duplicate the font and set a check mark at bevel outside and enter 0, 7 for size. Then you go back to the object tag and choose one for depth. Rename the text layers to inside and outside. Then position the text layers in the right place. Now we create the stars. For this you select a star spline in the top bar. On the side below select for points 5. For inner radius select 1 and for outer radius 2 cm. After that you choose extrude and position the star spline below it. For movement Z you take 0.5. After that you go to the caps tag and choose 0.3 for size and 50 for segments. After that you duplicate the star and set a check mark at bevel outside. Then go to the object tag and choose movement Z 0.1 and move the star to the right position. Now name all layers, so you don't get confused. Now position all stars to a position of your choice. Now we create the circle with the spheres. First we choose a circle spline. How to choose radius 10. After that we create a sphere and scale it to the right size. Then we press with the right mouse button on it and go to animation tags and select align to spline. At the bottom of the window we drag and drop our circle spline. We can duplicate the sphere four times and change the position at the bottom of the window. Two spheres I scale a little bit smaller. Then we create a sweep and a circle spline with a radius of 0.2 cm. Then we place both circle splines under the sweep and create a ring. We increase number to 50 to get a nicer circle. Then we put the ring together with the logo. Finally we add some spheres as design elements with a radius of 0.9 to 0.8 centimeters.
Lacolin used my chain tutorial and created this beautiful animation. Do you like the animation as much as I do? Feel free to write it in the comments. I would be happy if you give her some love on Insta. You can find the link to her profile in my caption. Do you also want this exclusive shout out? Then send me your results on Instagram or TikTok. The best animation will be presented here next week. The materials. The materials. Well, let's move on. Select sky at the top of the bar. So that we can see something, we have to create new material here as well. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose this studio HDRI map. Drag and drop the material on the sky. Now create another material for the objects. Open the material. We only need the reflectance channel. You press the button, remove, and then add, and insert a new Beckman layer. Under color you can change the color. Use this material for all objects and only change the color. Finally we select the sky and can rotate it until we have a perfect lighting. This is how the logo looks now. You want my whole project file? You can get it. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. Thanks for the support Art Invaders. And a very big thank you to my Patreons. You are the best. If you need some help or support you can text me. I will answer all questions as soon as possible. And now we came to. The Animation, the animation. 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 Before we start with the animation, we connect all the parts that belong together. This includes the text outside and inside and the stars inside and outside. After that we search for axis center and center the axis cross in the middle of the stars by selecting the following values. Extend the animation to 150 frames, that is 5 seconds. Now we set a plane as background and create and duplicate our existing material and change the color to black and roughness to 50. Select all objects and set a keyframe at the beginning and at the end of the animation, so we get a perfect loop. Then move the slider to a convenient position and also move the logo and set more keyframes. Now we animate the ring. For this we select the circle spline on which the balls are tagged. Then we search for Expresso in the top bar and drag and drop the spline into it. Then we search for Rotate and connect both elements under Global Rotation B. Finally we animate the single spheres and star elements one by one. Now we make the namesion linear. For this we go to window, then timeline F curve. There we select all curves and press the linear button. The animation is ready. That's it, well done Art Invaders. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. There you can also send me your finished artwork. As a thank you I will show all the artwork with social media links in the next video. I am glad about every support. Thank you. See you in the next week.